Today we are going to learn how to use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula is a way to find the x-intercepts or to solve a quadratic equation. It is especially useful when your quadratic equation is not factorable. So the quadratic formula is x equals the opposite of b plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. We can only use this formula when our equation is in standard form and set equal to 0. So our equation has to look like ax squared, so this is some number, plus bx, so this is some number, plus c equals 0. Otherwise, we can't use this formula, so you have to sometimes change your equation so that it looks like this. So now we are going to do an example problem. So the example is going to be x squared minus 6x plus 7 equals 0. And that is in standard form because it's set equal to 0, and um, we've got x squared, an x, and a number. So first things first, you always want to define a, b, and c. So a is 1 because that's the coefficient of my x squared. b is negative 6, and c is 7. And remember, our quadratic equation looks like negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2 times a. So now we're going to fill in these numbers into our equation. So we've got the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2 times a. So after you have your equation filled out, you want to simplify. So negative negative 6 is really positive 6 plus or minus the square root. Negative 6 squared is 36 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 7 is 28 all divided by 2 times 1 is 2 and this can get simplified further into 6 plus or minus the square root of 8 divided by 2 that is your x value because remember we've got 6 plus square root of 8 divided by 2 and 6 minus square root of 8 divided by 2 and this is what we would call our exact form because we didn't simplify the square root because it's a decimal. So now I'm going to show you guys how to find the approximate form. So we've, first we've got 6 plus the square root of 8. And when I plug that into my calculator and round, I get 2.828. And then we have to divide by 2 because of that. And then we also have 6 minus 2.828 divided by 2. And we get for our answers x equals 4.414 and x equals 1.586. And this is the approximate form because we plugged and rounded that square root of 8 into our calculator.